Hello students, in this video we will learn a grammar part about parts of speech. Parts of speech are the classification of words categorized by their roles and functions within the structure of the language. Can you imagine all the words of a language can be sorted into these categories? They play different roles in the structure of a language. In English, there are eight parts of speech. Noun, verb, adjective, adverb, pronoun, conjunction, preposition and interjection. What are the eight parts of speech? Noun, verb, adjective, adverb, pronoun, conjunction, preposition and interjection. Now we learn about these eight parts of speech. First one, noun. Noun, word that names a person, a place, a thing or an animal and idea. Here noun means Noun refers to a name of a person, name of a place, name of a things, name of an idea and name of an animal. Next, kinds of nouns. What are the kinds of nouns? Common nouns, proper nouns, collective nouns, abstract nouns and material noun. See here. Now, we will learn one by one. First one, common nouns. A common noun is the word used for a class of person, place or thing. A common name of a person, place, thing are called a common noun. For example, car, man. Here, car is a common name of a thing and then man here is this is a common name of a person next one proper nouns a proper noun is the name of a person place or thing a particular name of a person place or thing are called a proper nouns and remember one thing, a proper noun always starts with a capital letter. For example, Michael, Africa. Michael is a example for proper noun and it is an example for particular name of a person. And then Africa also. It is also particular name of a place. And next, collective nouns. A collective noun is the word used for a group of people or things. A collective noun is the word used for a group of people or group of things. For example, team and jury. Okay. And next one, abstract nouns. Abstract nouns are ideas, feelings or qualities. Abstract nouns are ideas, feelings or qualities. For example, love, hate, kindness, imagination, courage, intelligence, happiness, sadness, joy, confidence, luck, bitterness and then cheerfulness. See, these are the example for abstract nouns. And the last one. Material noun. Material noun is the name of a material or a substance or an ingredient of an alloy. Okay. Material noun is the name of a material or a substance or an ingredient of an alloy. For I purchased a gold ring. Calcium is good for health. See here in this sentence gold and calcium 
these two words are example for material noun and next parts of speech is verb what is verb verb a word that expresses action or otherwise helps to make a statement a word that expresses action or otherwise helps to make a statement verb shows an action or an ongoing condition it is considered as the heart of a sentence what is that the verb is considered as the heart of a sentence okay next every sentence must have a verb what is that every sentence must have a verb and the next one kinds of verbs what are the kinds of no verbs see here action verbs and linking verbs what is that meaning okay action verbs express mental or physical action action verbs express mental or physical action see here for example he rode the horse to victory see here the word rode this is the example for action verbs verb okay and next one linking verbs make a statement by connecting the subject with a word that describes or a uh, or explains it linking verbs make a statement by connecting the subject with a word that describes or explains it for example he has been sick here in this sentence has been this is example for connecting verb this is example for connecting verb and then next one next the pronoun the pronoun is word used in place of one or more nouns it may stand for a person place thing or idea what is pronoun the pronoun is a word used in a place of one or more nouns words used instead of nouns are called pronouns it may stand for a person place thing or idea what are the kinds of pronoun say personal pronouns indefinite pronouns demonstrative pronouns and interrogative pronouns see the first one personal pronouns i me mine you you were yours she her hers it its we us our ours they them they theirs myself and yourself these are the example for personal pronouns next one indefinite pronouns anybody each either none someone and one and etc these are the example for indefinite pronouns and next one demonstrative pronouns this that these those these are the example for demonstrative pronouns and next one interrogative pronouns who whom what which whose these are the example for interrogative pronouns and next some common prepositions here are some common prepositions are there see first one abroad about above across after against along among around at before behind below beneath beside between beyond by down during except for from in into like of of on over over past since through throughout to toward under underneath until up upon with within without with within without these are the some common prepositions and next 
conjunction. A conjunction is a word that joins a word or groups of words. For example, and, or, but, either, or, neither, nor. These are the example for conjunction. And a conjunction connects nouns, noun phrases, clauses, or sentence together. A conjunction connects nouns, noun phrases, clauses or sentence together. For example, Pinky loves chocolate and chips. She loves pasta but she hates pizza. See here, in these sentences, and and but, these two words are example for conjunction. Okay. And next one, last parts of speech. And the eighth, now, the eighth parts of speech is interjection. It is an exclamatory word that expresses emotions. Okay. Interjection is a word which expresses sudden feeling or emotion. See here, goodness, what a cute baby. Goodness, what a cute baby. Whoa, look at that sunset. Whoa, look at that sunset. See here, an interjection is a word. This is word which express sudden feeling or emotion. Okay. Thank you. I hope you are all understood this grammar part.